In this lesson, I'm going to show you a couple ways of putting titles into your sequence. One way you can do it is to go to the shortcut menu located at the bottom right of the viewer with the A on it and click it. Go through the drop down menu and choose text and then go into the sub menu and choose text again. The text generator will be loaded into the viewer with sample text showing in the video tab. I'm going to go ahead and click the controls tab in the viewer and change the sample text to something generic like food show. Now when I go back and click the video tab in the viewer, I can see the text food show showing in the window. Now I want my text to be about six seconds long, so I'm gonna to go to the top left of the window where the duration indicator is and type in 600 and hit enter. That will make my text six seconds long. Now since I want my text to go at the beginning of the sequence, I'm gonna move my playhead to the very beginning. I know I'm at the very first frame of the sequence because of the first frame indicator at the bottom left of the canvas. And I'm going to change my V1 target for the text to the V1 track so that it goes on the first track and not the second. Now I'm going to hit the yellow insert button to insert the six second text into my sequence. Now I see the text has been inserted into the sequence, but I don't see it in my canvas window because the playhead is one frame out preparing you for the next edit. I'm going to go ahead and move my playhead back into the text so I can see it in the canvas window. Now in order to edit the text, you have to double click it in the timeline to load it back into the viewer. So after double clicking the text in the timeline, I go to the controls tab in the viewer. And here I can see all the controls and things I can do with the text that I have in the timeline. When I move the size slider, I can see the text growing and shrinking in the canvas window because my playhead is in it in the timeline. Now that I'm working with titles, I want to turn on my title safe. I'm going to go to the canvas and click on the drop down menu and check on show title safe. Now two square lines will appear in the canvas. The inside square line is your title safe and you should keep all your titles within this inside box if your piece is going to be viewed on a regular TV set. If your video is going to go to the web or you're going to play it on a flat screen, you shouldn't have any problem and don't have to use the title safe. So if I want to reposition my text in the canvas, I can go to the canvas on the top menu to the right and click on image and wireframe. Now to get the wireframe, three things have to be true. You have to turn it on in the drop down menu. Then you have to put your playhead in the clip that you're working in in the timeline. And you have to highlight that clip in the timeline. And then you will see the wireframe in the canvas window. I can now grab the wireframe with my selection tool and drag the text wherever I want to in the frame. Another way you can do your text is to click on the effects tab in the browser and then go to video generators folder and open that up and go to the text folder and open that up and you can now double click the text icon and when you do this you can see that the sample text loads into the viewer window. So now I click the controls tab in the viewer so I can see the controls for the text and I'm going to mark my timeline where I want the text to go. So I move my playhead in the timeline to exactly where I want the text to start and I mark an in mark in the canvas. Then I move my playhead to where I want the text to stop and I mark an out point in my canvas. The duration of this is 3 seconds 26 frames. I'm now going to write in the text field another generic title putting on gloves. Now I need another track to go on to because I don't want to lay my text onto V1 or 2 because I have media there. So I'm going to go to sequence at the top menu and choose insert tracks. I'm going to put a 1 next to video tracks and hit OK. As you can see a V3 track pops up above your V2 track. Now I'm going to move the V1 target for the text up to V3 so that when I hit the red overwrite button, the text goes to video track three between the marks I had put in the timeline. And if I move my playhead into it, I'll be able to see the text in the frame of my video. Now, once you edit the text from the viewer to the timeline, it disconnects from the viewer. So if I go ahead and move the size slider in the current viewer, I don't see anything happening in my canvas window with the text. You have to double click the text in the timeline to reactivate the viewer window for that text. So now when I'm changing controls or changing the size, I will be able to see it in the timeline and on my canvas window as I'm doing it. 
If you want to have a drop shadow on your text, you can click the Motion tab in the viewer and put the check mark on Drop Shadow. And it has its own controls. If you open up the menu, you can change the shadow offset or its uh, angle, its softness. And there you have it.